Good morning, everybody. I just want to welcome you guys to uh, the new Niagara Falls, or as a lot of us know it, uh, we're kind of coming back into the community again uh, after some time being away. So uh, it's a great, great store, great opportunity to be back. Um, I also wanted to thank this whole crew right here. Terry, Terry Stryker, Joyce, Dana, the whole associate population been doing an awesome job uh, over the last two, three weeks. So a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication. So thank you very much. Um, also, Terry, you want to make some comments? Councilman Lee Wallace, you can speak first. Town supervisor. Town supervisor. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stumbling. That's all right. Here. Some people do want to demote me, but that's okay. <laughs> Uh, this is a glorious day under some gray clouds. We have sunshine in front of us, and it took me a while to think of that up, but uh, uh, I am so happy that uh, to be here this afternoon, or this morning, uh, the Burlington uh, store coming back into our town gives the town of Niagara an anchor store again. Um, it's been a long time. We're, you know, we used to have the hills, and then we had... Uh, um, Ames and some other stores and we have not had a store like this that really is for locals in, in quite a while and I'm really really excited I actually can't wait to get in there neither can my wife uh, so I commend you I commend Eric Raccoon and Benderson development for uh, working with us and, and getting this completed and I want to thank anyone who's had anything uh, to do with this uh, Chuck Hasley our building inspector was hi highly involved um, like to commend the staff I like to see, I asked the, the question, how many people have you hired? It's over 70. Uh, that's great. Um, anyway, I'm really excited. Um, and uh, a giant building that was empty for a long time is now live again. So thank you very much. Thank you. Terry Schreker is going to make some uh, comments. Uh, just to piggyback on that, I want to make a few uh, recognitions first. We have council member Sam Gano here, right? Raise your hand right there. And Eric Raccoon. So give them a round of applause for coming out and supporting us. But the main thing uh, that Mr. Wallace said, I want to I uh, congratulate my team. Uh, I've been in retail for, you can tell, 140 years. <laughs> and uh, it truly, and I'm not lying, I'm not exaggerating, this is the best crew I have ever, ever had. So congratulations. Uh, and as he said, we, we have hired so far, I'm at 75 associates and counting. So go on the website, please. Apply for your job. Uh, so I'm kind of, and, and they have busted their you know what to get this store ready. It's been two intense weeks and they're, they're awesome, awesome people. So, so they're very proud. They want you all to come in and do some shopping. They want, the more, the more you shop, the more hours they get to work. So, uh, right guys? Yeah. Uh, right, yeah, so shop. So, uh, but I, I just want to congratulate all of them and, and the, the merchandise we have is spectacular. The store is spectacular. It's just beautiful. So I won't hold you guys back any longer. We got a few more presentations that Brad's going to give, and then uh, we'll get you guys into the store. Okay? Thank you. All right. Thanks, sir. John, you want to come on up front here? We're all gonna yeah, we're going to wait. We're going to do this. Yep. All right. Uh, I also want to in introduce uh, John Micah, who is uh, representing the uh, teachers' desk which is a uh, local organization that does a lot with the community in regards to uh, giving supplies and whatnot to the uh, uh, teachers and whatnot in the uh, community. Uh, we also, um, <coughs> we've got six teachers pro projects totaling $4,350 is affecting like 2,000 students. Um, so it's a big, big organization. Uh, we're, we're proud to represent and give, give back to the community. Um, so thank you very much. Um, there you go. Make some words. Thank you, everybody. I, I'm looking at a dozens and dozens of people waiting to come in, so I'm going to be I'm going to be real quick here. Uh, on behalf of uh, uh, Kids in Distress Situation (KIDS), which is the national organization that invited us to be a part of this, uh, the Teachers Desk, which is a store where teachers shop for free for kids in need, uh, is thrilled to be able to receive this huge donation on the left here from Burlington. It's great for the community. It's great for the area. It's great for these folks back here to have a uh, employment and to grow it here in western new york thank you for all you do appreciate it mr wallace come on up front absolutely absolutely kind of snuck up on me at the last minute just a couple more introductions we have the the longest standing judge in uh, the history of the united states no <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Judge John Texera, 40 years, John? 40 years on the bench from our town. Sylvia Virtuoso, our town clerk, is here. Um, and also Jim Suter, our police chief. Uh, Rick Siriani is uh, another one of our councilmen is here. And uh, my lovely wife, who's also my secretary. So, uh, <laughs> so that's all. I just want, did I didn't miss anybody, did I? Okay, nope. thank you. And we want to present the check from uh, donor shows or oh, turn it upside down, upside down. There we go. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. This is a great thing for the town of Niagara. This site has been vacant for quite a number of years. Um, it, it helps our development, brings more people into our town, helps our tax base, creates jobs. Um, it's just a wonderful thing. Um, one of my goals is to get rid of all the uh, uh, blight and all the uh, empty stores and empty buildings in our town. And this is one giant step towards this goal, and, and I couldn't be happier.